Okay, I know it's been a couple days. I know normally I film like a few days a week, but this, this uh, massive, massive, giant, ginormous, huge, mega announcement, okay? I'm not gonna lie, I'm not gonna lie. Didn't think I'd be making a video like this this soon, okay? But here's the announcement. But before I actually get to the announcement, I wanna explain something. Please listen. Please actually listen to what I'm saying right now, okay? Just don't just jump to a conclusion. Listen, listen. This jump into conclusion thing happens way too often with you guys, so please just listen, okay? I'm, I'm gonna show you first, and you'll know what the announcement means, and then I'm gonna explain it, and you're gonna, li <laughs> you're gonna listen. You're gonna listen, okay? So let's show you. Okay, here we go. Yeah, we're moving. Empty, absolutely empty. This was my first ever building. My first ever building that I ever got for myself, for my business. And now we're moving on. Now, that just means we're moving, okay? We're not closing, Scooter Zone is not closing. You can still buy your parts there. We're just moving, but this is a large, large chapter of my life. We're moving on to something better. We're moving on to something that's better for the business. We're moving on to something that's better for me. We're moving on to something that's better for my employees. We're moving on to something that's better for you guys and this channel and scootering and, and so many different things, right? And I'm gonna explain all that here in just a second. But first, let's do a little recap. I'm freaking out. Are you ready, boys? Are you ready? Absolutely. Let's go. Let's go. Ready, dog. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. What's up, dog? We got dough over here. We're officially opening the new Scooter Zone store, and I'm freaking out. <laughs> Everybody good? Yeah. I don't think I'm good. You're good. You're good. I mean, I don't have a choice. We have all kinds of people. Yeah! What's up? What's up? All right, come on in. Today's a freaking incredible day. We now have an indoor freaking half pipe. Oh man, looking like a freaking ramp. Let's go, Ryan, let's see a flare. Currently 4 a.m. It's four in the morning. Thanks. We're still not done, but dang, dude, we got, we got four. We gotta break in, boys. One way, break this whole way. Ooh, 4 a.m. flares. All right, so we're in the shop right now. This this is Rylan, you guys. What's good? Say what's good to the vlog, Rylan. And uh, he's got his scoot right here. He's got uh, he's got a prodigy. He's got some vital grips on there. Vital grip tape. There you go. Vital grip tape. Let's see. You got the gold glitter. If you can get a tail done in four tries, I'll give you a scooter. Okay. Like, I'll let you build it. Okay. Like, the one that you're trying to build. Okay. I'll, I'll give it to you. The pressure is on. Don't screw this up. Okay. This is the only chance you're going to get at this. Okay. I'm going to let you build one, okay? Courtesy of the zone. Oh, he's getting nervous. Was that accessible? That was very accessible. The judge says it is accessible. Good, sir. You ready, bro? Yeah. Time to build your dream scoot. You ready? Uh -huh. All right, he's looking at Reaper V2s. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh. <laughs> All right, bro, what do we think, man? It's awesome. It's awesome? Uh -huh. Do you think it rolls? Because we haven't done anything yet, so how do you know it's awesome? Yeah, <laughs> it could be terrible. You haven't even figured that out yet. Boom, sign. So this is like kind of like the first like dial test. Look how little this thing is. Oh, it's so <laughs> weird still, dude. Like, ow. No, no, too fast. No, too fast again. Oh! Oh god, I got a flare. Oh no. Why, Ray? Why are you moving? I know a lot of you guys that watch this channel may or may not own a business or know somebody that owns a business. Um, but when it comes to having a building, especially a warehouse that is as extensive and, in, I mean, truthfully impressive as this one, not to toot my own horn or anything, but for a scooter shop, this is extremely impressive. It's definitely, I'm, I'm gonna go out on the limb here and say this is, well, was the nicest building for a scooter shop I think the world has ever seen, okay? Like, and, and you guys can yell at me in the comments if you want, but that's what I believe. Um, but this building was $8,000 a month. Now, is this building sick? 
Absolutely. Is it a great advocate for scootering? Do I think it did what it was supposed to do? Absolutely. Did we utilize it? Absolutely. Now, does it stress me the hell out? Absolutely. Does it affect my happiness? Yeah, stress part, yeah. And third and foremost, does it hold me back? Does it hold us back from moving forward and going in the right direction and doing good things for people, making positive impacts and doing good things for scootering? Does it, does it stunt that growth? Absolutely. That is why I made this YouTube channel to begin with was to do good things for people, was to promote positivity, was to get outside and show, show people that you can just be happy doing something that you love and you can become successful within that, that hobby or, or passion or whatever it is that, that, you're, that you're into. That's why I started this YouTube channel and, and this whole thing, this has stunted my ability to make videos for you. Although, amidst all the negatives, we made a lot of people really happy here. I met some incredible people. We made some great friends. We've seen some incredible things happen here. We had a 20 foot wide mini ramp in this building and had some great sessions. But it's time for Scooter Zone. It's time for our crew and it's time for me to move on to the next best thing. And one of the things that I've always really sucked at our goodbyes, I don't like them, but it's time to say goodbye. <sighs> A lot of time spent here. All right. See you later. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Oh, my doorbell. Okay, um, I'm gonna drive home now. Your boy's a little emotional at the moment. So, let's go home, give you guys a positive message of the day because I feel like I, I have a perfect one for this scenario. And um, I'm excited to share it with you guys. You know, when I initially got Scooter Zone, when I initially took over and um, I was in that position, I wasn't expecting that at all. Two months prior, I was just a scooter rider that, that did YouTube, and that's still what I am now. And what I want to kind of like talk to you guys about, something I've kind of learned, um, I guess something that a lot of people already know, is doors open and they close every single day. And I know the last message that I um, told you guys about and the one that we talked about last time was kind of embracing change and being okay with, you know, life not being the same throughout the next couple of years if, if it changes drastically. And that's all right. Um, and I kind of told you guys to embrace the change. But, but today I kind of want to like, something I'm realizing right now is that everybody has a purpose. And sometimes it's kind of hard to to listen and, and to kind of understand what your purpose is and, and once you think you might know what it is it's hard to really grasp onto it because there is that form of almost nervousness um, and anxiousness at the same time because you really do want to do what you're what you what you're supposed to in life like you only have one shot at this and if you can figure out what it is you're supposed to do and what your calling is that's awesome and I think I do know what mine is and I think mine is this channel and and trying to promote um, happiness and positivity and optimism through scootering to other people um, and this this whole this whole it might not make a lot of sense to you guys but this whole like change right this whole moving moving scooter zone thing is it's a lot more than just moving buildings because it's we're, we're changing um, kind of what we're doing so that one I'll have a better, well the main, the main thing is so that I'll have a better chance to make videos for you guys and to do things for the scooter world and uh, do my part and because I, I feel like that's my calling. My calling is, is doing what I have been doing for the last few years 
um, but to a much larger extent. I'm going through a change right now, but I think that change is God telling me like, hey dude, you're going too far, C come back a little bit, come back to where you're supposed to be, which I think is right here. Like I think I was just kind of jump, jumping too far, but again, that's I thought maybe that was what I was supposed to be doing, but it wasn't, and I was kind of humbly ass kicked to come backwards. Um, and right now I think I, I, that's a good thing. So I, I, I feel like right now the message of the day is to don't go too far, don't go too fast. And if, if you get pushed back, it's okay. It may, it, it, that's, there's a plan, there's a plan for everything. Your book was already written before you were even alive. So just remember, if you go backwards, it's all right. It's not always a bad thing and just keep looking forward. Thanks guys, appreciate you watching today's video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video and I'm super looking forward to this new chapter. Um, I will be explaining a couple things to you guys. Uh, like I said just a second ago, our, uh, a lot of things are gonna be changing here pretty soon and um, you'll find out very soon. So thanks guys, love y'all, later.